just playing. I'm just, right. you know. Are you constantly trying to, is it is it difficult for you or are you thinking about trying to outdo yourself for the next one? Like, like this outfit was great. He loved it. The audience loved it. Now, are you worried or concerned about trying to up the level of outrage or how make it? The next okay, costume got even more saying. outrageous or Here's flamboyant. The Here's the answer. It's it's in two parts, and the two parts are, A, you're making so many outfits, you don't have that much time to think. Mm. So think, worry, criticize yourself, whatever. You're going to buy fabric. You're cutting up the fabric. You're trying this with it, trying that with it. You're telling Vera, put it, do it this way, do it that way. You know, Vera sometimes, she doesn't get, I'm writing a note, do this, this, and this on this. She doesn't sometimes understand, Michael, what the hell he wanted. She does something else. Maybe it's cooler. Maybe it's cooler. Um, but in general... There's no time to do it. You're just trying to make cool clothes. Mm. Each week, each month, you're trying to use all the parts. So we're talking about holographic glitter on, you know, these right. here. Or you're talking about <clears throat> here's, these are painted, then some of the stuff is painted, and then the glitter's put on top of the paint. Um, I don't know if any of it's here. These are rhinestones that are glued on there. Um, here's rhinestones that have been banged off, you know, mm -hmm. as rough as he is, you know, with the outfit. So I'm just saying to you that there's no time for it. There's just a time to, to do what you're doing. Go buy the fabric, chop right. it up, give it to Vera, talk with... In that shop... Is glasses being made? I mean, I got pictures of maybe 15 or 20 pair of glasses on a board being made at the same time where I'm painting the edges of the glasses or I'm putting the, the glitter on them or I'm painting mm. this. But there's all these, they're lined up in rows and rows. I'm painting lots of glasses. Um, but my point is, is that in doing this, I'm seeing that the business of trying to do it as well as I can is made worse by the distraction of, well, this is going to be on television. This is Macho Man. This is, this is just another guy, meaning I'm just trying to do the best that I can with the parts, again, that are in front of me. And What do you mean it's made worse? It's distracted. I'm my creative... Or my work ethic is distracted uh, by by the attention, by the loss of breath because of who this person is. Oh, okay. There's lots of way to say it. Okay, I see what you're saying. I'm just they're expecting something. I'm expecting something. Tony is expecting me to make clothes. That's what I do. End of story. There's no mm -hmm. more to it. There's mm -hmm. no romance to it it's, it's business mm -hmm. you know and so then i could see oh i gotta f go fix that buttonhole machine it's, these buttonholes aren't right <laughs> or right. i need you know a thousand pearl buttons where am i going to get them from i gotta fly to new york and then go <clears> to new jersey and find someone that's making you know one inch pearl buttons and i'll buy seconds and shift mm. through and not use the bad ones or whatever um so there's just so much of time that is eaten up with the actual work of the thing that you get away from the side ideas of well, this person's famous on account of or this person went to jail for whatever or, you know, meaning these are all just humans. I learned this as a little kid. Oh, uh, Mindy? There's a, there's a, there was a, a couple named Lance A. Bear, and his wife lived in St. Peter's, a sax player in a band, keyboard player, songwriter, um, had a daughter, had a baby, whatever, in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And she became a sax player that's known. 
Mindy Abair, A-B-A-I-R. I think I'm spelling it right anyway. She calls me on the phone. She says, listen, I live in L.A. I mean, and I obviously remember her, and um, I know the parents for a thousand years. I live in L.A. I live in L.A., the guy that makes my clothes. I showed him a pair of pants that you made from my father in the 70s. He, and I needed them to be altered to fit me. He told me he wouldn't touch them. This is, he never saw anything like this in his life. It's the mechanics of it, the whole thing. He this is in another place. So I said, when you come to Florida, come, I'll do them. So I, I... Took the pants apart, put them back together where they would fit her and all that. Um, and she wore them on American Idol and all that and took all kind of pictures in them. But all I'm saying to you is that, do I know how to sew? Yes. Um, am I glad to do a job like that for her for no money? Yeah, of course. But my point is, is that <clears throat> this whole emotional thing about seeing it on television or an album cover, it's not there. It may just be me. It may just be me. I don't know what to tell you. It may be how I needed to see this whole thing in order to get through it. If I was spending time, you know, that this Jimi Hendrix outfit, I didn't like the way it looked or Jimmy ripped it or the audience didn't like it or they didn't use it for the album cover or, you know, whatever. It's a different place I would be, and maybe a, you know. I mean, it's it's also the most tremendous, incredible marketing you could have had for yourself. It's it's the, you potentially would not have been as successful if you were if Jimi Hendrix wasn't a international superstar rock and roll musician. You know what I mean? Like my story is, I say, well, if you're making clothes for God in those days. You know, you're just saying, well, I'm making God's clothes, you know. And so, you know, that's, you know, no one can say anything. You know, they say you're into name dropping, you know, and right. you understand what name dropping is. And, you know, some Nashville musician, I can't think of who it is, he says, yeah, Paul McCartney told me I shouldn't name drop, you know, or some kind of thing like that. He was making the joke, meaning this is a big deal, but you're saying you made clothes for Jimi Hendrix or... This guy that I'm taking you to made clothes for Jimi Hendrix.